Hello everybody and welcome back to the Game of Thrones Telltale series. Season 1 episode 3. They didn't take as long with this one. Uh, I was kind of shocked when I just uh, got the um, the trailer the day before it released and then I couldn't play it for another day. <laughs> now I finally, finally, um, yeah, the wait is is over and uh, I can actually experience this game with you guys along the way. <sighs> I'm hyped. Let's go. Dracaris episode three. By the way, uh, at the beginning of episode two, I misread the um, the uh, text at the beginning of the Asha chapter in Essos. It said three days after the attack, not before the attack. So sadly, we didn't get to see any dragons last time, but maybe now. Hopefully. Let's go. Previously on Game of Thrones. To ensure there's no trouble, Lord Whitehill will install a garrison of 20 men within your walls. You have a man you trust? My son, Griff. I suppose the Crown could be persuaded to secure Ironwood from House Forrester. Lady Marjorie might not look favorably on such an alliance, and it would infuriate Cersei. Although what would be amusing for me might prove rather dangerous for you. And your house. Father. I'm going to kill you. Is that so? I didn't say that. I'm glad I found you, my boy. It's been far too long. Who the fuck is he? My uncle. Roderick? Roderick, by the gods, it is you. Sir? Fetch the maester, hurry! Fetch the maester! I don't think he said that either. You kill me, and the Lost Legion won't stop until you and your friend are dead. dialogue right now. I don't think he ever said that to me. What's going on? She's been gone a while. She'll come back. If they catch her, they'll kill her. They won't catch her. She's costing us time. It's just that we need to get to Marine. Every day we lose here is a day that Talia or Ryan could be hurt, or, or, or worse. You must return home safely, Asher, and... Well, you, you have a history of putting your faith in women who may not deserve it. Uncle. Was it them? The Lost Legion? Aye. Too many for us to take. I counted about two dozen, maybe more, as well as horses. About half a mile down the canyon, and coming fast. Had to run my ass off to avoid getting caught. <laughs> it's nearly empty. You two care if I finish it off? It might be a while before we find more water. <sighs> Dying though. Nah, drink up. Thanks. Right, we need to get moving. Is Malcolm planning on ditching Beska? I don't think you want her on your bad side. We're a hundred miles from Yunkai. 
When are they going to give up? You really should have killed Tazar when you had the chance. Men like that don't forget. I let him live because I knew or I thought. His hand. Not the kind of thing a person forgets about another person. Don't second guess me about this, Beska. I did what I did. Fine. Next time, do it different. It's only a matter of time before they overtake us. I thought cutting off his arm, uh, piercing him through the stomach, and ah, breaking his knee would be enough to stop him at Can least we from back? moving. Not without meeting dear old. Then I wanted to uh, interrogate him. We're well and truly fucked this time, Asha. During severe winters, when the Skahazadan floods, it carves out great underground rivers in the sandstone. And? And when those waters recede, those rivers become caves. And those caves might hide us, if we can find them. I mean, we're trapped for the moment, but all I'm saying is we, we needn't die here. Mm. Just standing our ground. Thank you, Malcolm. That's valuable advice. Of course. If he's right about this, I may actually stop him. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, that's got our bearings here. Got a walls surrounding us. Rocks to climb. And that's it, I guess. Well, we can't stay here, waiting for your butchered friends to corner us. Agreed. The faster we make a plan, the better. Do you think we could dig our way through? Or try to scramble over? I don't know. Either will be slow and tricky. One wrong move and the whole thing could collapse on us. Mm, doesn't really look like it would be that unstable, don't you think? What's these, um... What in seven hells did you two do to rile these bastards so badly anyway? Well... Oh. Back when Asher and I first started running together in Volantis, we had a disagreement with the Lost Legion's commander. It didn't end well. You killed him? I cut his balls off. Of course you did. Charming. Looks like we're not alone. No obvious wounds. Maybe he died of thirst. Listen. Hmm. That's water. I hear water. From underground. There might be a cave nearby. Sure, let's loot the corpse. What? Look at this. Gold. Fat lot of good it did. How did you know that? How do you know it's gold? That's a nice purse of gold. Wonder who he was carrying that kind of money out here. Let's not worry about that now. We need to find cover. Well, let's take it. He's not going to need that. Asher, the Lost Legion will be here at any moment. This is Essos. There's always time for gold. Oh, shit. It's them. Monte Fredo! Que Sirizzi! Shit! Come on! Now what? Well, find us another way out of here. No. Get them right where you want them. Whoever comes through that corridor gets killed. What in the seven hells is that smell? That's a major strategic advantage you're giving us. Used to be. Maybe goats are uncommon in uh, Westeros. There's a light! Go! See if there's a way through. We'll hold them off! Okay. Oh, come on. Oh, dear Christ almighty. I'll come. This was the wrong cave. Yeah, um, good toast, Asha. Alright. Uh, Easy now. Uh, 
No thanks. Uh, okay. This is not gonna turn into Jurassic Park, is it? Them, give the dragon all the corpses. That's the wrong way, gentlemen. Oh, wow. You're braver than I thought. We just lost our weapon, so... What? Okay. I'm sorry, Ash. I gotta... Gotta save my uncle. Blood runs thicker than wine. food down there. Ah. <laughs> yeah, that was the big one too. Drogon. Um, named for Daenerys uh, dead husband Drogo. I think it was Rogan. Yeah. So, uh, like last time, we're opening up, opening up with a bang here. Um, very nice dragon encounter. Uh, Daenerys basically had to kind of uh, hide them away in caves, and apparently she hasn't started chaining them yet. But they're becoming too big to handle. They're killing, well, pretty much anything in their path. Whenever they're hungry, they're flying out and killing the townsfolk. And she doesn't like that. The sword in the darkness. Garrett is still practicing up, you sorry swordsmanship. Lock. Gather round. We're handing out assignments today. Garrett, <laughs> we'll be men of the watch before nightfall. Yeah. Right. Sorry. No hard feelings over that business with Finn, yeah? I appreciate you not ratting me out over the knife. It's nice to know there's at least one brother I can trust. Finn might have killed me otherwise. Just promise me you'll stop stealing things, Cotter. All right. I swear it. Never again. Yeah, right. Well, no guarantees on potatoes or mm -hmm. lamprey pie. Or for that matter. <laughs> Just messing with you, Garrett. I promise. I'll mend my thieving ways. Well, aren't you two sons of whores looking thick as thieves? Having a good laugh over nicking my knife, eh, Garrett? 
Men like you turn traitor for nothing. It's in your blood. I didn't take anything from you. No, but you protected the bastard who did. You'll always be an asshole, Garrett. You're just a fucking craven. Look, it's over, all right? Just drop it. You could bugger off if you like. Finn, leave him alone. It wasn't Garrett's fault. If you're gonna hate someone, hate me. With pleasure. Thanks, Cutter. Now, it doesn't matter what the world once called you. After today, you're all brothers. Could even be that the man standing next to you saves your life one day. Or maybe you'll save his. Let's find out then, shall we? Casper to the builders. Finn to the rangers. Eric to the stewards. Hugh to the rangers. Cotter to the builders. And... And finally, Garrett to the Rangers. That's it. May all the gods preserve you. All right. Well, there we are. I'll be patching up the wall, and you'll be defending it. Should you northern boys want your gods to give a blessing to this union, there's a weirwood tree beyond the wall. Now form up and follow my lead. Again, I do wonder if I had messed up the training in episode 2, would I have become a different uh, assignment? Well, would I have joined one, I mean. Garrett, it's good to hear you'll be a ranger. Thank you. I know you wanted this. I'm ready to say my vows. I didn't have many friends when I first arrived at Castle Black. Grin and Pip, they'd as soon have seen me bloodied in the yard than offer a hand. Now, I'd die for either of them. Our brothers are all we have. Mm-hmm. Hope this guy learns that lesson too. Finn. Shows you what kind of ripe fools are running this place. I can't believe they made you a ranger. You're not fit for the job. You don't have any balls between your legs. Like it or not, we're brothers now. Means we're gonna have to get along. Don't count on it. Jesus you Christ, Finn. You wouldn't be here if you didn't have snow leading you by the hand the whole way. I'd keep an eye out for you if you weren't such an ass about everything. You don't give a shit about me. No one around here gives a shit about me. They wouldn't even care if I... Do you know how many rangers I never heard from again in these parts? And I'm about to become one myself. Mm -hmm. All alone out here. Wildlings everywhere. Or wolves. He's just a scared little bully. God. Giant wolves. It's alright to be afraid. Keeps you alert, keeps you from being too confident. Like the next time we fight. I'll remember that fist of yours rattling my skull and I'll think twice. I suppose you're right. You want a different assignment? Because I hear they need someone to clean the shit house. <laughs> See, that's why I got so fucking mad at you, Garrett. You're the closest thing I have to a friend. What? Uh, okay, that was easy. Yeah, I'm, I'm afraid to say... You handled that well, Garrett. <laughs> they say the old gods watch us through the weirwoods. More than watch us. They know us. The gods are not forgiving. We brothers have to be. Yeah, the Night's Watch part is kind of the more boring. We're here. After this, there's no going back. Probably the most now boring go. part of the whole thing. Take your vows. <laughs> kind of the same as the TV show, even though it it got better uh, the longer it went on. There. In so. the eyes of the old gods, the Night's Watch offers you a place beside us. 
Now say the words for all to hear and embrace us as your own. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll reserve judgment. It's still pretty cool. It wouldn't be complete without the wall. Hey, well, it might just become the best thing about this. Who knows what's gonna happen with the North Grove and everything. And there's the Weirwood tree. That's nice. Hear my words, <laughs> and bear witness to my vow. Night gathers, and now my watch begins. It, it shall, shall not end until, until my death. death. It shall not end until okay. my death. I shall take no wife. Hold no land. I shall take no Father, wife. No children. Hold no lands. Father, no I children. I shall wear no crowns and win no I glory. I shall wear no crowns and win no glory. I shall live and die at my post. I shall live and die at my post. I I am the sword in the darkness. I am the watcher on the walls. I am the watcher on the walls. I am the shield that guards the realms of men. I pledge my life and honor to the night's watch for this night and all the nights to come. You knelt as boys. Rise now as men of the Night's Watch. Welcome to your new family, Garrett. We're men of the Watch now! Means we get to piss off the wall whenever we want. Didn't know you needed an excuse to play with yourself, Finn. Garrett, you've got a visitor. Over there. What? Well, who is it? Do I look like your fucking squire? A visitor? Okay, interesting. Oh, it's, um... What's his name? Uh, I was afraid of this. <laughs> oh, God. I will forget so many names. I just rewatched my footage of the second episode. And the amount of characters in there is just amazing. It's his uncle. Don't forget the Duncan, practice. Duncan, Duncan. I uncle remember. Duncan! <laughs> Garrett! It's good to see you. They told me you were at the Weirwood Tree. Wasn't sure you'd be back in time. I never expected to see you here. Did something happen? A business with the Night's Watch. A delivery of Ironwood shields to keep oh, you all okay. out of harm's way. That settles it then? Aye, the delivery looks in order. Oh, the gods do grant miracles. Mm. You look well, nephew. I'm told you're a ranger now. That's good. Uncle? Things aren't going well at Ironrath, Garrett. I know. You can say that again. I heard the news about Ethan. I was standing not five feet from him when Ramsay struck. It's a nightmare that plagues my dreams. But House Forrester is nothing if not resilient. Our house has survived for centuries. Let me help, Uncle. I can't just sit here at the wall while our enemies are circling Ironrath. Yes, please. It's boring. That's why I'm really here. Do you recall Lord Forrester's last words to you? Mm -hmm. Just before he died. Yes. Gregor's final command, spoken to you in confidence. I told you. He said the North Grove must never be lost. Indeed. But first, it must be found. Okay. I've been reading his journals. Scouring the legends for any clue what Lord Forrester knew. I think I found the answer. Mm. He describes a fortification, a protected citadel of sorts, hidden from the world, one filled with great power. It was scattered among his notes. Almost an obsession. 
A vital secret he protected at all costs. I know it's a lot to take in. But Lord Forrester's notes leave no doubt it's real. He speaks of it as if he'd seen it himself. Somewhere north of the wall. And you must find it, Garrett. The search won't be easy. But you're a Tuttle. Our Lord knew you wouldn't fail him. Somewhere north of the wall. That's not a lot to go on, Uncle. How am I supposed to find it? The first chance you get to head north, take it. And then? You leave the Night's Watch behind, and strike out on your own. This is no small request I make. I know that. But there's no other choice. I agree, Uncle. But how? A brave answer, Garrett. This will help guide you. I found it hidden in Lord Forrester's strongbox. That's what I was hoping for. I mean, just one guy north of the wall trying what to find that? something. A like page from our Lord's journal. But one he tore out and kept separate. Why? I don't know. It's a map. To the North Grove. Aye. Okay. Yeah. Uh, that would have been futile, but maybe with a map we can do it. So there's a mammoth here. The North Grove is beneath the watchful eye of the ice dragon. Marking Weirwood Tree. Hear the Weirwood's whisper. There's castle ruins. Yeah, the thing is, um, in ancient times there used to be a lot more castles along the wall. Uh, some of them among the most well protected, but they uh, fell into ruin, they were destroyed along the line. And they didn't even didn't even have enough people to uh, uh, to get garrison there anyway, so they just concentrated on a few ones. I think there are three main ones along among them Castle Black. So this could be one of these uh, castles. And then there's a river and along this this mountainside maybe through this valley or something. It doesn't really tell me where the north growth it growth is. Let's a mammoth. Look at this. <laughs> this map's only missing grumpkins and snarks. But this oh, can't be real. Uncle. Well, you'll see about all that. You said it was a citadel of some kind. Could this be it? No. No, it couldn't be that easy. It's hidden here somewhere. Well, yeah, but there's no real marking except for this, and it's outside the map. This looks familiar. What is it, Garrett? Talia gave me this. Before I left. What? Oh. Wait. Lord Forrester gave Ethan a similar one as well. Roderick, too. I wonder. Okay. Well, that's just the the forest. Uh, um, you know, the banner. How's that? How does that make it any different from anything else? Look, it could just be a coincidence. There's a clasp. It must yeah. open. What? Okay. I had no idea this was inside. Another werewolf. Huh. But why? Maybe it's a key to solving the map. Well. Uh. This? A perfect fit. Maybe it's telling us where to look on the map. Hmm. There are no markings there, though. Let's try it. Oh. Maybe it fits somewhere. In here, 
could line up with oh yeah so it lines up with the uh, uh, mountains and stuff I think it lines up like that yeah oh it's the whole map that has to turn okay Wood's mouth, Uncle. Whatever this place is, the North Grove must be near. There's only one way to find out. Here, take this map. Everything we hold dear may well depend on your success. It's a lot to put on your shoulders. The lives of a whole house. You can tell everyone back at Ironrath that Garrett Tuttle has taken up the cause. Your sense of honor is a quality I've long admired, Garrett. Gods watch over you. You're the son I never had. Let's go, Garrett. Mm-hmm. Okay, finally we got a mission. I don't know. So looking up? Probably like little little shards or something. Wait, so like a weapon? Well, your piss is like any other liquid, I reckon. I hope to never lift one of those again. Mine's mostly ale. Okay. And if it froze well, on the way down the wall, it probably you know, break up into little what icy bits. To do is talk to these dudes. Be moving pretty fast too, wouldn't it? So well, that's rather mysterious. A stranger arrives and you're chatting him up. Someone said it was your uncle looking for you. Well, what did he want? Looked like you two had a lot to talk about. Must have been important to come to Castle Black. He happened to be nearby. Thought he'd say hello. This is about the last place anyone would want to visit. It looked like it gave you something. It, it was nothing. Let's go and celebrate. Or Why are you keeping secrets from your brothers, eh? We're beneath the stairs. You can't see right. The wall's gonna melt before we get up there. Come on. Uh, I bet these guys are gonna be suspicious and they'll desert uh, as a trio or something. I mean, what is a Telltale game if not uh, for the dialogues?